Today, we will be learning about Earth Day. Our planet is an amazing place, but it needs our help to thrive. That's why each year on April 22nd, more than a billion people celebrate Earth Day to protect the planet. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the whole universe for the benefit of mankind and everything in his universe is based on harmony and balance. He commands to avoid creating imbalance through wasting resources that he has bestowed upon us. All kinds of pollution, such as industrial pollution, environmental damage, exploitation, and mismanagement of natural resources create imbalance and chaos in the universe. According to Islam, each of us is a custodian of his nature. Therefore, we must take care of the environment we live in. In verse 85, Allah said, and do no mischief on the earth after it has been set in order. That will be best for you if you have faith. Do you know all the natural resources on the earth are the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? But what do we do with these blessings? Unfortunately, human beings misused all the resources given by Allah, which results in the environmental changes, deforestation, forced migration, ozone depletion, and natural disasters. Being a Muslim, it is our duty to take care of earth and its resources. So how do we use, protect, and conserve these blessings? First of all, the most important blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is water. Do you know how necessary water is? In a country like Canada, we get clean drinking water right from the taps. But millions of people around the world don't have access to clean and drinking water. There are remote areas where women and small kids walk three to four kilometers or more just to fetch clean water in all types of harsh weather. More than 39,000 children die every day due to born diseases. If we waste water in our household, there will be scarcity for the agriculture and if there's no water for our farmers, you know what would happen? There will be no food on our tables. So what can we do to save water? Take short showers. Turn off the tap when brushing teeth. Use less water for washing face and hands. Use less water when washing our cars. Give water to plants when needed. Educate family and friends about the importance of water. Another blessing of Allah's is trees. Trees produce oxygen that is the lifeline of all living beings. In the hot summer, we usually plan trips in the hilly areas. But if the rate of cutting trees remains the same, then we don't have enough trees to plan a trip. Seasonal raining and amount of fresh oxygen will no longer be available. Trees help to clean the air, soil, and water, making the earth a beautiful, livable place. Living close to trees makes us healthier and happier. It's time to save trees, protect forests, and spread awareness. Prophet Muhammad said, If a Muslim plants a tree or sows seeds, and then a bird or a person or an animal eats from it, it is regarded as a charitable gift, sadqa. Trees lower traffic noise level by 50%. Trees can capture 50% of particulate matter. Three well-placed trees reduce energy by up to 50%. One mature tree will sequester one ton of carbon dioxide. One mature tree produces enough oxygen for two people. Tree roots stabilize soils and keeping silt away from our streams. So what can we do to save trees? We can plant more trees, not cut down forests, reduce our paper usage, buy recycled paper products, look for volunteer opportunities to protect trees. What else can we do? We can reduce the waste. Waste causes pollution, contributes to climate change, and squanders more money, energy, and natural resources than most of us realize. 
making small changes we make in our everyday lives can make a powerful difference to the health of all living things and the province and planet we call home. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O children of Adam, eat and drink, but waste not by excess, for surely he, Allah, does not like the wasteful. So what can we do to reduce waste? We can use reusable bags, reduce food waste, use reusable water bottles, switch to paperless billing, buy only what we need, compost our food waste, do meal planning to reduce food waste, recycle, try to repair items before buying a new one. Last but not least, educate our family and friends. Remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Do good as Allah has been good to you, and do not seek to cause corruption in the earth. Allah does not love the corruptors. <laughs>